Come on, son. What's up, y'all? It's Saturday. It's the premiere train. Should have started off this morning with Will's Treasures and jumped on the train and just followed it. Now you're here with me. After this, you'll automatically get redirected to the next channel. All right, let's do it. I got some mail call, y'all. Let's just go ahead and get into it. But we got something from Dan Smoking Treasures. Oh, yeah, that's right. Talking about. We just start off the mail call. Dude, love the sticker. It's awesome, brother. I didn't have yours, I don't think. That's cool. Sweet. Appreciate that. And then the reason I'm stoked is that's what was in the back. And then starting off the mail call with two half gram IGR gold balls, baby. Yes, gold. Nice. Appreciate you, Dan. Oh, yeah, man. Love that win. That win was nice. All right, what else we got? We got something from Scratch and Go. Crazy. He uh, he hit me up and asked me if I uh, wanted to buy some silver. So we made a deal, and I did. All right, Let's see what we got in here. Got the sticker. Nice. Didn't have that, Scratch. Appreciate you, man. Very nice. Have a very Merry Christmas. Nice. 1994. Very nice. Is that the year Nash was born? No, I'm just kidding. It could be. I have no idea. <laughs> we got a 2023 Terra. We got a 2022 Somalia. Somalia. Oh, the African wildlife elephant. Very nice. So we got a maple. 2021. Philharmonic, 2022, got another maple, 2013, 2015 maple, 2021, and a buffalo, right on. Little pile of silver there. Appreciate you, Scratch. Packet from Herman. Good. Herman sent us. All right. We got the typical congrats on your win. Hope you enjoy. Thank you for your support. Stay safe and blessed. As always, Herman Orbitz 2024. All right. We got two packages. This is very light. We'll save that for last. This is deep stack material right here. I've never sold anything shaped like this. I've always, I've always just deep stacked them. It's got the 10 count, but I think it's missing two. Half ounce, nine mil silver hollow points. Look at that. We gotta find two more, man, and then we'll be, we'll be stocked. Shut down. <laughs> There's silver, man. <laughs> they don't fire. Cool. Appreciate you, Herman. Oh, wait. We're not done. We're not done. I do appreciate you, though, Herman. That's sweet, man. That's sweet. Oh, that's right. That's right. Now I remember. Yeah, man. I mean, the, for the price, I had to buy these. Nobody else wanted them. Why not? Fantastic. Some silver proofs. Yeah, now I remember. All right, on. Appreciate you, Herman. This one's from Breach. Let's see what we got in here. So, let me get the clean. I, I love it, Breach. It's like, it's just clean, you know? Very nice. I do like your logo. All right. So, yeah, it was the poor only auction. And I actually had like this hundred dollar credit with Breach for like forever because the last time I bought a bunch of stuff off of my overpay, a hundred dollars. Bad math, man. I did some bad math. So he's been hanging on to a credit for me, but yeah. Sick, brother. Love it. This is so nice. Is that number three? Hell yeah. Love this. So nice. So there you go. Is that 
two ounces. Man, Pete. That is the number three K box. Come on, son. Right on. Eleven would be better, but no, no, he's not that. Three's totally cool. Three's totally cool. And then it well, I didn't quite get there, right? And I and he did exactly I forgot to I was gonna text him about this, but he did exactly what I thought he was gonna do. And he threw in two of his pri his pirate money fracks, which I've I've not had these before. Oh wait. I think I did a long time ago when I, I think I sold them all. Um, so I'm going to hang on to these. At least one of them. Well, maybe both of them. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll hang on to them for a while at least. Cool. Appreciate you, Breach. I came out here for dinner. And uh, I figured, well, I'm out here. It's I need to do some work in here, obviously. The weeds are out of control. So we've got... Uh, got the yellows man like i said there's another one in there so i'll leave that i'll grab that one tomorrow now a couple of these got away from me once again so i've got plans i'm going to take these in the morning to some people at work oh see i didn't see this one see like this one got away from me but look what's next to it right like i'll give that one more day that'll go with the yellow for tomorrow's dinner and look at there's like another little one coming um See, another one got away from me. This is the plant I harvested that other zucchini from that I have in my little plastic bin. The pumpkin plant is just freaking doing awesome. Oh, see, you got one right there. It's like a volley, the size of like a volleyball over there. A little smaller. We got this. This is the prize right here, man. That's the size of a, at least a basketball, at least a basketball. That's the prize of the plant at the moment. Yes, this hedge is doing fantastic. And we do have some pretty nice, they're, the, the pepper plants are looking pretty good, some of them. Like obviously not all of them, it happens, right? Like it just happens. So that's why you plant a lot. So there, we're gonna get a late, a late harvest, I think on uh, the peppers. This hedge, not so, not so bueno, not so good. Uh, see lots of flowers right here on these pepper this row of pepper plants basically which is good so we'll start getting some some peppers off of there this one's already a little little guy but she's turning orange i'll grab it maybe tomorrow spice up my dish i got a little purple one probably grab that one too it's it's the plant is so small that that pepper is not going to get that big so i might as well take it now let the plant focus more on growth than building that pepper um but yeah that hedge these four looking awesome and it could be that it's just different species because i know i have like four or five different species so it could just be some just this isn't the right climate for them or like i said this side is probably more compact it could be a combination of a lot of things this pepper still i don't know what's going on with this little guy this plant i should probably take it off the plant is fairly small I just don't know what kind of pepper it is. Um, it would be nice to know. I got a lot of little jalapenos and stuff. Uh, what I think I might do is make a, a like, my, usually my first batch ends up being like a really ugly color because it's mostly green with some red. Um, so it comes out like kind of almost a brownish. It's, it's kind of, it, it's not appealing, but it tastes fine. Just not appealing to eyesight, but you know, hey, you don't need no artificial coloring just to make your food, you know, you, you close your eyes taste with your mouth <laughs> yeah but yeah see we got red ones and they're like some of these i've been i've been letting go and there's they're you know they're definitely ready to go um so yeah i might make a little small little batch here pretty soon maybe this weekend even look see you got a good size jalapeno right there that's substantial that's a four finger that's a four finger jalapeno that's that's perfect perfect size and yeah so more reds I think we're here, weren't we? Yeah, I think we're here. So, like, like, as a prime example, something happened to this plant. Obviously, the weeds don't help, but you can see next door doing fine, doing fine. So, something with this plant, it just, it's not dead, but she's hurting, and I'll probably just take those peppers off, maybe, like, just today, and I'll just, I mean, that one I'll probably toss in the compost, and that one, maybe I'll just add that to my meal. It'll be interesting what that tastes like. I'm sure it's a jalapeno. It's yellow. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know if I'll eat it, to be honest with you. <laughs> Maybe I won't. <laughs> and then, so, yeah, we got a bell pepper right there. 
look at see i mean look at that freaking pepper i you know i thought these were cayennes but these are so big those might be um those actually might be a sweet pepper because i did plant some sweet peppers but i thought most of them got eaten um i'll have to investigate that a little bit more because that's a pretty big cayenne uh i think it's something else but it could be a variety of the cayenne too i'm not sure oh there you go I snapped it, but dangerously hot, they said. They say it's dangerously hot. I don't know, man. I like it. We got some hot pebbles coming in, though. And those purple ghost peppers, those are looking nice, those plants. Love it. They definitely need to do weeding. I don't know what pepper that is either. We got a couple peppers here. So, yeah, we got enough maybe for a little small little batch. Just a private little early stock. See, cucumber is dead. That's a weed, but this is not happy at all. It's drying out. I don't know what's going on with the base. Whoa, look at that. It's sprouting from underground. Maybe it is. Maybe it is a potato. Um, and it's just not getting enough water or something. It doesn't like something, man. So I don't know what's going on with it. Whatever. If it dies, it dies. Uh, sweet potatoes, what I really care about, anyways. So yeah, cucumbers are still remnants of the cucumber. <laughs> that I did harvest with a plant is literally dead, man. Like that's hilarious how spiny that thing is. Um, yeah, totally dead. So whatever, it happens. So what's the squash doing over here? Anything? Anything? She ain't looking the greatest. She does have a little yellow squash still coming out. So that's cool. Tomatoes, man. I need to come out here and string them up a little bit, help them out. They're just, they're, it's out of control. The problem is at this point, when I, if I start messing around with them, I could snap the, the limb. So it's almost at this point better just to let it go. But it, it, one thing is it's very going to be very difficult for weeds to grow in here because how, how much covering <laughs> these tomato plants are doing. That's the one benefit of letting it do this, but that's not what you should be doing. Uh, <laughs> This is just what happens when you let stuff get away from you. Yeah, we're gonna have to grab some tomatoes here uh, and eat a couple. Probably add some tomatoes to the, uh, the, the squash. Yeah, look at, nice. Yeah, definitely blushing out. They're starting to blush out. Gonna have to start doing some canning here soon. And then there, here you go. So, let to train that to kind of stay in the, stay in the bed. But yeah, that's, that's a good sign. Sweet potatoes trying to go nuts. And then this, this other variety is doing very well. We're starting to get a nice little row of them. So, and then here we go. More pumpkin, right? Oh, here you go. Here's a better example. That's cool, man. Look at that. It's freaking white. Awesome. I mean, it's probably gonna turn a yellow or something, I would imagine, because if I remember the tag, which is right here, it has a picture, it's more yellowy. But that's cool, man. It'll be interesting what we get out of there, you know? Very nice. But appreciate you all from coming by, checking out my video and my my garden that's gone wild. And he neglected, <laughs> neglected. <laughs> But uh, yeah, appreciate you coming out. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. We're almost at 900. We'll party at 1,000. And uh, just hang on. Stay where you're at. You'll get redirected over to the next one. Keep the train rolling. We'll see you at the next station, y'all. Later.